absorption of x-rays as we know that x-rays could also be absorbed when x-rays pass through any material a part of x-ray energy is absorbed by the material in order to study the absorption of x-ray let us consider the experimental arrangement initially this is the collage tube in which x-rays are produced in previous video we have discussed how x-rays are produced in the collage tube for that video you can check the link provided in the description box after production of x-rays these produced x-rays can be collimated with the help of slits and monochromatic x-rays which passes through the, these slits strikes on the crystal and after diffraction from the crystal they travels towards the detector in this case ionization chamber is used as the detector the initial intensity of these diffracted x-rays is taken as i0 if we place the absorber in the path of these diffracted x-rays then there is absorption of these x-rays suppose if we place the absorber of thickness dx in the path of these diffracted x-rays uh, initially a small amount of x-rays are absorbed by absorbers when the thickness of these absorber is increased then the intensity of the diffracted beam is decreased here i represent the intensity of beam after traveling the thickness dx if we further increase the thickness of absorber the intensity decreases this can be clearly seen from the graph if we plot the graph between thickness of absorber and the transmission intensity as the thickness increases the intensity decreases exponentially this follows the equation di is equal to minus mu i dx here di is small change in intensity due to the small thickness dx where mu represent the linear absorption coefficient rearranging this equation we can write di upon i is equal to minus mu into dx in order to calculate the change in intensity over uh, the thickness of the material used we can integrate this equation from initial intensity i0 to final intensity i therefore this equation can be written as integration of i0 to i di upon i is equal to minus integration of mu into dx here the limits for the thickness is uh, from 0 to x by solving this integration we can write log of i over the limit i0 to i is equal to minus mu x putting the limits we can write log i minus log i0 is equal to minus mu x or we can write log of i upon i0 is equal to minus mu x by using the log rule we can convert this logarithm into the exponential form i is equal to i0 e to the power of minus mu x if we multiply and divide the exponential part of this equation we can write i is equal to i0 e to the power of minus mu upon rho into rho x here rho is the density of the material used or simply we can write i is equal to i0 e to the power of minus mu m into m here mu upon rho is equal to mu m is called mass absorption coefficient and rho into x is the mass of the unit area of the absorbing sheet from this equation we can say that mass absorption coefficient is directly proportional to cube of the wavelength of x rays used and also directly proportional to cube of the atomic number of the material used thank you